Hey, so today marks day 30 of me living in my van and people keep asking me, how do you like it? And honestly, about 50-50 for the pros and the cons. Um, this is my third van that I've lived in. This is my true first van life experience though, where I don't have like an apartment to go back and forth to. I have friends who have offered me a place to crash and shower and whatnot, but I'm trying to avoid that because I want to be self-sufficient as much as possible. Um, so one of the things I don't like about living in my van is I wake up every morning at the butt crack of dawn, like 3.30. I just can't sleep. It's too noisy. Uh, I don't know if it's just my nerves or, you know, I'm not used to it yet or what, but it's been a real, real big struggle. So I end up at coffee shops or bars that open early and drinking coffee. Um, I have to also move my van a lot, like almost every night. Um, not only so that I remain inconspicuous, um, but because of parking regulations and whatnot. So that's tough. I also don't want people seeing me as a single female getting in and out of my van, but that is proving difficult because it's such a populated area. Uh, people see me get in and out all the time and then they come up and ask questions or, uh, you know, some weird stuff has gone down. So, yes, I carry weapons. Everyone keeps asking me that. I've got mace, a taser, a knife, and a really bad attitude. Um, let's see, I can't invite people back to my van, you know, so it makes dating a little awkward. I mean, I can invite them back, but I don't. Uh, nobody wants to date somebody who lives in a van down by the river. <laughs> At least maybe they do, but I haven't met them yet. And, um, it's hard to find ways to occupy my time at night. I really miss curling up on my couch with a glass of wine and watching Netflix or taking a bubble bath. I miss that a lot. However, look where I am. I mean, this is amazing. This lifestyle definitely affords me a freedom that I haven't had in a very, very long time. Um, I also have the opportunity to get ahead financially. Um, since my overhead is so low. I basically just have to deal with gas and maintenance. Um, so that's really exciting. Maybe I can get out of debt. Um, I'm meeting a ton of cool people. I cannot believe how many other people live this way. Uh, I wasn't aware before, you know, people try to hide it. I mean, not only is it embarrassing sometimes, but you just really don't want people to know that you live in your car or your van because people judge you. It's fascinating. But I'm not embarrassed. Um, and I also, you know, have realized through the, this entire thing, um, it puts life into perspective. Like, what is truly important? It's, it's not things and stuff. You know, I don't have to have a nice apartment for my couch to enjoy while I'm working a job 45 minutes up north for 12 hours a day. I'm so over that shit. Um, instead, I realized that it's about experiences and people and living life. And I love that. So I'm happy and definitely going to stick it out for quite some time. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, it's not for the faint of heart, but I'm digging it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.